Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is having a good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching. We get people from all over the world, but wherever you are, make sure you get a big drink of water, especially if it's first thing in the morning. We wake up dehydrated. Did you know that? So take care of yourself. Hey, guys. Uh, today on stream, I'm just going to be doing some... <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on. I got to mute that water. Knock something loose. Excuse me, but I didn't want you to have to hear that. All right, this morning on stream, I'm going to be doing some uh, blendering, and my plan is actually to do another one of those animations that I've been doing. Um, but before that, I wanted to show you guys a couple of, of really cool things that I've been working on. So let's flop over. Oh, by the way, and check it out. I am wearing the rubber chicken tie as voted on by you in the comments. So here we go. Um... Uh, da, 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 computer screen fantastic so some of you may remember this when i made the printer blocks mech kickstarter i said i had some other ideas that i wanted to do and this was one of the ideas that i presented beasts and if you'll remember that i did uh i did do all the beasts I, at least the ones that presented here we did the lion and the uh t-rex and the snail t-rex looked a little bit different i kind of want to go back and redo the head of the t-rex but nevertheless uh, that worked out okay. And then... Okay, go away. Go away. I, wanna, I don't want you there. So now we're doing the Sky Force. This was also one of the original, like, extended ideas. And then, uh, oh, there's the generic blocks, which I just uploaded to Printables. A new set of generic blocks that are for articulation. So if you do, if, if you're getting them on uh, 3dpprofessor.com, you've already got all the blocks. I believe I updated that. Yeah, it's got the articulation on it. But if you're downloading them from printables, this is a good way to um, present them to people outside of my audience, I think. I hope. That's the plan anyways. And of course, there was Electro Blocks. <clears throat> and I'm still working on those. Um, but those are happening. And those are free and available to people. And then the last idea that I had at the time was called, uh, I think we called it Landcraft. The idea that we could build terrain and things like that. And there are some people on the Discord working on some ideas that I think are going to be appropriate for this. And I'm going to work on some ideas for this in the future. So I wanted to talk about where continued development for Print a Block will happen after the Kickstarter. Uh, this Kickstarter saw something unusual. A lot of people joined my Patreon hoping to get the models, and I don't give them on Patreon right now, but I'm going to. After the Kickstarter, printer block development will continue uh, on Patreon, and I'm going to spend some time this week um, updating my Patreon with new tiers, or, hey, I just want to get the models every month, and things like that. Um, where, what else can I develop though? Well, I do need to go back and revisit some of the mechs that I made. These need to be greeblier. I need to spend more time making more details. And I think that there's a lot more mechs that I can tap and things like that. What do you guys think of more greebly mechs? Let's see. What else we got? Okay, go away. Um, in the first printer block mechs Kickstarter, I made this really cool spider mech. And I feel like there's so much more. I, I was never really satisfied with that mech. And I feel like there's so much more that we could do. I just took some inspiration online. And, and these are the sort of things that I'd love to implement in printer blocks. Uh, hope you guys like that idea. And I think, I think there's more to do in Beast. I think there's more articulation that we can do. I think that I can revisit some of the original Beast sets and make them look more greebly. Um, I, I especially pull out the shark because I feel like its face is still so smooth. And that that big diamond on the fin, that's why I didn't use it in the, uh, in the star wing when I modeled that. I could do more cars, more wheels, and uh, we could do more of that. There is already a set out there that you can download, and I need to download that set because 
it looks very, very cool. But we could do more wheelie stuff. I called this one Road Rage. I don't know, maybe that's silly. And uh, also in the first, I made a, a humanoid mech, and that one was terrible. Somebody made a better humanoid mech, uploaded it to Thingiverse, and you know what? I should just go crazy. These models are called 30-minute um, missions. And so I should just mine those for ideas and do more mechs like that. Um, we're getting a lot of good mornings into chat, and uh, Madam Zelda who is on my Discord, I think, says, I think your steampunky greebles were amazing. I definitely think that there will be a steampunky vibe to print a block. I think the overall vibe of print a block is very steampunky. I don't know why, but it is. Um, I feel like my voice is just so much lower in the morning, and I kind of love it. I'm seeing my, my image, and if I move here, the, the windows, which I don't have curtains on. I should get curtains for those. Shining lights directly on me. So I'm going to do my stream over here just a little bit. Let's jump into Blender this morning. Um, and while I work on this, I'm actually just going to do what everybody does in Blender and just clear the default scene. Oh, I don't have... Let me see if I can... Uh, well... I'll have to figure out how to turn on my keys if I'm going to do more of this, but I'm going to pull up my source. While I'm working on this, what do we want to talk about in the chat, y'all? What, uh, excuse me. You know what? I, I do want to talk about something. So I recently, or I, I, this week, I was not going to be doing a stream today. I told you guys last week I was, you know, I was going to be too busy for it. My plan was we were going to be taking a vacation. We were, begin, we were going to be going uh, to the Grand Canyon. Or maybe we were going to be going to Mount Rushmore or something. But um, once again, my adult kids with, uh, you know, who are working and stuff like that, uh, they kibosh those plans a little bit. And I'm not upset. That's... You know, that's the way it is. But instead, I'm just having a little staycation. <laughs> you guys, have you guys heard of staycations? Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here, which gave, you know, gives me a little bit of time to uh, hang out with you guys this morning and do some 3D modeling. And like I said, today I'm actually going to be working on an animation. Um, I've done a couple of animations for these printer blocks and, you know, I've enjoyed them. And I wanted to kind of show you guys the process that I've discovered for doing this. So first of all, I got too many stinking tabs up here. You don't need, you know, I, I need to do a video about what tabs you do and don't need up here. I like the animation tab. Don't need this one. Uh, uh, what's this one? Compositing. That one can be useful, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. So my question, I guess, guys, is if you had a chance to have a staycation, what would you do for your staycation? And I, that's going to be relative to wherever you live. But would you actually go and sightsee in your own town? And what would you go see? Or uh, would you just stay at home for a week and watch Netflix and or Disney Plus or whatever streaming service you have? And uh, play Minecraft or... <laughs> What sort of silliness would you get up to if you had a staycation at home? Ooh, you guys see the floating, floating lights here? Yeah, that's more of my, my lights on my green screen there. What would you guys do for a staycation? Incendium says, I'm on a staycation myself right now. Madam Zelda says, uh, thinking about being in the UK, we're so small, most cool things to see can be done 
in, di in days worth of driving. I mean, most things in America can be done in days, just probably more days. <laughs> All righty. See, how else we got? Driving, yeah. Sorry, I did understand. I, I parsed the driving. Shep the Creator, how you doing? Shep, we are talking about staycations today because I am on one. <laughs> you know, I take a week off of work and I have these plans and they fall apart. And that just means I get to spend more time with you all. So... Today I'm working on an animation, and what I'm doing to start with... First of all, I'm trying to find... There it is. How long this clip is. So, yesterday I put together a audio clip. I'd like to search in Competech.com, which is the music of Kevin McLeod. He makes amazing music, and he's been doing it for years, and he just keeps putting out more and more of it, and it's really, really cool. And uh, 1404. So I have taken one of his video clips, a song called Aerosol of My Love, and I have put it into the um, video editing. Now, this has an interesting effect in Blender because if I come back out here to my normal animation here, you see I've got a timeline here that I can animate things. If I hit play, you guys are going to hear this. Well, hold on for a second. Are you guys going to hear this? Let's find out. Ooh, that's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down for you. So that is... Oh, and I need to lengthen it right here. So what I was looking at was how long that video clip was. Now we can have the whole clip in there. I'm going to put on my headphones so that I can hear it too. Emily says, I like doing nothing on staycations personally. Good to stay home and relax with Netflix and video games. See, yeah. Disney Plus and Minecraft for me. All right, let's listen to this song. All right, we're going to listen to it again in just a little bit. Because here's what I'm going to do. I need to get the timing of the song synchronized with my animation. So how do we do this? This is this is the technique that I've I've figured out for doing this. Um, first of all, I want to. Oh, I know what the problem is. I need to change my point to active element, and then boop, there you go, snaps right to the middle there. Alrighty, I'm gonna turn off my snap, and add an empty. Empties are interesting things in Blender. Empties are just like. Things that don't exist and don't render, but that you can pin things to so that when you move them, they move relative to the empty. And here I've got my empty, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start recording what's called auto keying. So if I do anything to this, it will remember the motion that I do. So let's just pull this up alone and start auto keying. And then I'm going to start playing my animation and moving this to the music and watch what happens. Wait a minute. That was... That music is starting up a little bit too soon. You go to the video editing. Is that the way I edited this? Hmm. May have to pull up my, uh... my source here. Get that off the screen so you guys don't have to look at it. Yep, I edited it to just jump in. It was a longer song, so... Alright, we're gonna do that. Let's just do it. Here we go. Do -do -do. You know what? I don't like this. I'm going to undo that. Go back to the beginning. And I'm going to try and catch it on the doop, 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 doop. Okay, so we'll do that. Boop, 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 doop. 
Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, like that. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so I want to... This sometimes takes a time or two to get right, but you see what's happening is it's catching all the motions that I'm doing and turning them into keyframes. And all I have to do is, if I can get some clean motion, follow along with the keyframes that I've made. Let's try this again. And I'm gonna, I wanna just hold off on the first and then we'll continue on with there. There we go. Bop, 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 Kind of lost track of what I was doing there. Bop, 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 and now you see, he's just kind of moving on his own, which is pretty fun. But that also gives me keyframes to follow. So now, um, we're gonna name this object Soundtrack. I think I could do better, but we're gonna, we're gonna stop on that right now. We're gonna come back here. All right, Chapter all right, so we got some uh, comments. Let's take a moment and say hi to everybody in the comment section. Uh, built Switchwire Voron from my Ender 3 Pro. I love taking an Ender 3 and making a much more capable 3D printer from it. <laughs> kind of cracks me up. Um, so staying home mostly, trying to make progress on some personal projects. Oh, yes. Who doesn't love using a staycation to work on your projects? Uh, I like doing nothing on staycations. Good choice. Good time to stay home and relax with Netflix and video games. Uh, what's your favorite YouTuber? I mean, I'm vain. Actually, that's not entirely true. My favorite YouTuber. I would have to think about that one. But, you know, I will say that I probably watch every single one of um, Matt Pat's videos as soon as they come out. I can't help it. I love the man. He, he does great work. Uh, let me see where this is. Okay, this right here, that swooshy here, is where I kind of want to have everything come together. So we're going to animate this backwards. Here's the next thing. Uh, ooh, Minecraft. Yeah, I, I recently picked up Minecraft again, and I don't love that I love it so much. Okay, so here's what we're going to do with this. Grab this bad boy. And we're going to insert a, a location and rotation keyframe right here for all these objects. So these objects now, no matter what I do on the timeline, it are going to be frozen here, which is great. This is what we want. I'm going to come back and let's grab our soundtrack object. And what do we got going on here? Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Okay, so is that right? Okay, so what we want at this point is for all of these parts to be, except for the middle here. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Just have to. A lot of times I actually plot this motion out ahead of time. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to take all of these sides and I'm going to move them off to the side. I'm going to take the bottom up and move it way off to the side. So at this point, this is what our animation looks like. Oh, I forgot the connectors. Well, got to do it, guys. Got to gotta add the connectors. <laughs> Ah, uh, the connectors. All right, I'm just gonna grab the STL for those. Don't do that, Joe. Okay, good. There's our connectors. We're gonna move them into its own collection. Ah, uh, that's good. Rotate 90, rotate 45 degrees. Uh, turn that snap back on. That'll make life easy for us. There we go. And I am having to just kind of blindly put... You know what I could do? I could try, toggle x-ray. And that'll help me. And move that up 16. Move that up 8. Back out. Duplicate, move it in 16 into Y. Uh, do that again. Do that again. Do that again. Boom. Shift R is the greatest thing that I have learned recently in Blender. And these ones are going to be a little bit funny because they're at weird angles because I did that to myself. Actually, this piece right here, I don't know if you guys recognize this piece right here in the carrier. But it's the same piece that made the body of the lion in the Beast Kickstarter. And when I was working on this uh, idea here, it just was the perfect one for this idea for a for a... Not helicarrier, but, you know, uh, kind of carrier sort of thing. So, just reused it shamelessly. <laughs> it was perfect. Why use the old version of Blender? I'm not using the old version of Blender. I'm on 3.2. Uh, yeah, see, right here, 3.2. Is there a newer version than 3.2? If not, if so, I'll, I'll upgrade. But... I thought that this was the newest version. Uh. Ready. Oh, whoops, I've been getting too many. Oh, no, wait. I just didn't move them up enough. Uh, does that mean that there's one sitting in here? Here. I need to... Uh... Oh, that one's mirrored. I'm going to have to fix that. Perfect. And then we're just going to move that one back. I think that's all the connectors. I think I managed to sound that out pretty fast. Let's turn off the carrier real fast. There's the, just, just the connectors inside your carrier when you do that. <laughs> like looking at a skeleton of something. Whole thing. And just the connectors. All right. Oh, the skin threw me off. Thought it's the old version. No, I, I I put it on light mode because I feel like that's a better one for the camera. So for you guys to be able to see, I use light mode. Um, everybody else uses dark mode. Here, watch this. I go to uh, preferences. It's funny. I haven't actually updated Blender much uh, for for. Um, 
See, does that look more like Blender, like what you're used to? We'll do it that way for a little while. We'll see how you guys like that one. Everybody keeps complaining that I'm on the, the old version because it's because I use light mode. I think it works better on camera, but if you guys feel differently, um, then we'll keep it like this. Round section at the front reminds me of Starbug from Red Dwarf. Uh, would love to see a Starbug inspired printer block set. I think I can, so my strategy <laughs> for printer block is not so much to have sets that are inspired by, or, or to have whole sets that are inspired by specific um, aircraft or, or anything, but to have parts that are inspired by those and then combine them into other sets. That way I'm avoiding any legal troubles, but hey, if you take them apart, and make them into something else, then, you know, what am I going to say about that? That said, uh, I definitely think some Starbug inspired parts would be a lot of fun. All right, let's pull back up my soundtrack. Oh, we're all inside this collection. I don't like this scene collection thing. You know what? I don't like the scene collection thing. Just move everything here and get everything out of this collection there we go just make it easier on everybody grab these bad boys and move the keyframes there and let's grab the soundtrack and the previous keyframe is here i'm just using my motion here to tell me what i'm doing now Actually, we'll just do this in X-ray mode. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to grab all of the things here. Notice how they're all rotated the same. I've done this in all my animations, and I don't think anybody's ever noticed. But if you rotate them up by individual origins, and rotate them by a local, is it X? Local X. No? Yes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a random group of them. Rotate them by X by negative 90 degrees. And now their rotations are inconsistent. More like what you would have in an actual printer block set. Does anybody notice this? No. Does anybody care but me? No. But it takes absolutely no effort for me to do that. So let's do it. All right. We've got these two here. We're going to move them down and down and set a keyframe for them here. I say, yes, I happily pick and choose inspired parts from different sets myself and build something that looks like a Starbucks. That's. That's the basic idea, is I'm not, uh... now I'm going to have to break these ones, because they need to go this way, but that's going to run into that, so I'm just going to take them straight down, even though that's not the way they're going to go, uh, but for the animation, it's either that or this one goes in at a weird angle, and I don't want that either. Okay, so up and down motion like that. Yeah, yeah. Is that everybody? Is that everybody who's facing down. Yep. Okay, we're good. Next, pull up my soundtrack. We have a spot right here. And at this point, we're going to take all the sideways goers we're gonna move them out oh 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 uh, i forgot oh did i not i forgot some uh... Unfortunately, their keyframes are in the wrong spot, so location and rotation on you guys. Excellent. 
I'm just going to move these guys together. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. No big deal. Okay, we're moving all the lefties. To the left, and all the righties to the right. Accepting the middleies, none of them. Okay, all lefties and righties. Yep. Oh, wait. Let's grab the soundtrack and figure out where this is. Whoop. Close enough. So what else? Uh, so what else? Now, uh, I will mention that uh, the Kickstarter is going to be uh, largely what goes into the Kickstarter is going to be largely dictated by the backers of the Kickstarter. Um, that's not me trying to be like difficult, but I think that's fair. <laughs> you know, the backers of the Kickstarter, I think, probably get. Uh, First dibs on on what we choose to do, but that said, besides the star bug, what would you guys like to see uh, in this Kickstarter? Oh no, I forgot. Let's go back real fast. No, I gotta set the keyframe here. Okay, let's set this keyframe. Actually, it's just a keyframe for everybody here. I'm at peace with that. Let's go back up. Oops, I accidentally set a keyframe for the... for the uh, soundtrack. Did not want to do that, but I did it anyways. Alright. Is that the connector we want? Yes. Duplicate X24. Duplicate X negative 48. Hey, that turned out being right. I can do math. And. Oh. Mugs. All right. Delete that keyframe. Oh, not. Key. All right. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to delete you. The only way. The only way. All right. I got to find that guy again and recreate him. Duplicate X 24, duplicate X negative 48, 8, and grab them both and set a keyframe here. And then if we go back, uh, <laughs> these guys are going to be off on the animation, and you know what? I'm just going to live with it. All right, going on with this animation though. What did I do? I think I fat fingered the uh, I location and rotation, location and rotation. <gasps> Where's that one? Did I leave that one behind? Good. I think you're supposed to be. Wait. Okay, that's you. Oh, I forgot all kinds of spots over here. All right. Oh, I forgot all the, all the, all of them. <laughs> all right, we'll get them. Get them now. Okay. I keep forgetting to grab the mirrored elements. Counterparts. Oh, and then when I do grab them, I send them the wrong direction. No, I don't need you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And there we go. 
And actually, I need to grab... Actually, let's do it on this side. Move them all over. Grab those bad boys and move them over this way. Except for that one. Boom. This is a lot more effort than it should be. Um... So what, so uh, what's your guys' plan for today? So part of our staycation, we're just going to be uh, visiting some local, we're going to go out to the lake. It's hot where we're at. Uh, weather today is promising to reach over 100 degrees easy. And uh, yeah, we're not looking forward to that. <laughs> So we're going to spend some time uh, cooling off at a local lake. Actually, what I want to do here is I want these parts to move over. Did I move them both the same direction? Should I move them all over this way or should I move some of them? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> we're going to move these parts over on this side. But the connectors... Wait, what happened? Did I accidentally bump dog blast it? Hey, you guys are going that way. You guys are going that way. <laughs> so cool. Uh oh, we should also move. No, not wireframe. X ray. You know what's fun is in solid mode Blender has an X ray view. Which is cool. But in uh In wireframe mode, you can actually turn off the x-ray and you get this mode that's kind of like, I don't know, it looks like Tron to me. And I super dig it. You, you, so you actually are in wireframe mode, but you can't see through things. And now we're in solid mode and you can. Uh, cool. <laughs> I think that's really fun. All right. We're going here. Then you're staying behind, and we're going here. Yes. 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 All right. Lake Powell, or what's left of it? Not Lake Powell. Uh, you know that I live close to Lake Powell, but um, not Lake Powell. Okay, at this point, we're going to pull up our soundtrack. Go another beat ahead. Then we're going to grab just about everybody except for this guy in the middle. Oh, 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 wait, we forgot one. Yeah, it's a drought out here, so Lake Powell is pretty dry. Um, I mean, it's fine. We'll get rain eventually, I'm sure. Or if not, we'll all dry up. You know, there's a lot of people out here who are worried about things like, oh, we get our, we get our, uh, manure and, and stuff from, from the Ukraine. So... Now we're going to be all, uh, we're going to have a bad growing season because of that. And I'm thinking, no, that's not why, <laughs> you know, like we got manure around here. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm not alarmist enough. All right. So at this point, the animation goes like this, but that's a terrible animation. That's a terrible animation. It's too short. Bop, 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 up. And see, it hits on the beat right there. But here's what I'm going to do now. Okay. We're going to go back to the beginning of our animation here. And using the soundtrack as a guide, although that soundtrack doesn't kick in until the beginning. Uh, we're going to grab... Okay, how many... 
you know what? We got plenty. We got plenty. We're going to do them one at a time. All right. So, I, 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 I have to ask, are you guys interested in the animations? Is this just, am I wasting my time uh, doing this with you guys? Because, I don't know. I like them. I enjoy doing the animations. But, I get the sense that you guys would rather just 3D print them. Which I think is fair. And so I'm doing this today mostly because I want to. Oh, wait, no, this is the one that needs to be beat over. Because this is the one I need to move all the way over here. Cool. And now it goes. And we're going to move the king. You know, we're going to zoom in on this bad boy. Goes. And there we go. They hit on the beat. Just like we planned. Huh. Hmm. I want them to hit earlier than that. Can I do that? I mean, I can, right? All right. Bring it here. You're going to hit here. And you're going to hit here. Interesting. Okay, both of you are going to move hit a beat later. It's just fiddling. It's just fun stuff here. It's just messing with beats and animation until it looks good and sounds good. It's good. All right, let's see what we got if we do this. That's cool, huh? That worked. Watch this. Bop, bop, boop, and then they come together. That worked. I like that. That was good. I think it's been really too cool to watch. Let's see. I think the animations are cool. I think this has been really cool to watch. I've never really seen this process before. So what's funny is I actually... Uh, started wanting to be an animator that was my that was my vector in life i thought and uh i didn't end up doing that obviously uh but when i discovered uh 3d modeling i discovered that okay let's see if i can find the next beat well, Okay, so that's when I need you two to hit. Uh, when I discovered 3D modeling, or when I discovered 3D uh, uh, printing, I was like, hey, I know how to do a little bit of modeling. I, I did it for animation. And, uh, and so that became my... in to 3d printing so i was not a um 3d modeler i definitely didn't come from a cad background hey tyrone's good to have you here um i came from an animation background and so this this it's been fun for me getting back into animation i want to do more of it but okay let's watch it so far what what up Wop, 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 wop. Okay, I want that to hit a little bit earlier. I want something to be happening at this point. And I want something to be happening at this point. Wop, wop, wop. Okay. Also want something else to be happening, so I think I'm going to bring in the uh, tail and its clip. 
And you notice I'm not changing the animation per se. What I'm changing is when it happens. We already animated these pieces uh, a while back, but now I'm just changing when their animations hit. All right, let's see how this goes. Whoop, 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 what up? Little motion happens right there. So as long as I've got the camera pointed at that, that'll be interesting. Um, so yeah, it was it was interesting to me. Okay, so that's another one. We want stuff to happen. Uh, I want the cockpit in at this point. Um, so I think my my animation vector put me in a unique place among. Oops, that's the wrong one. Among the the 3D printing hobbyists at the time, because while they were all interested and focused on. Um, architectural type stuff I was like yeah but how can we make this cooler and and I started 3d printing long ago so oop, oop, okay um, oh, oh. okay we need side panels in on this yeah get those side panels in on this Okay, so here we go. Wop, wop. Okay, no, 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 no. You need to move over a little bit. Where's my soundtrack? That was not the way it should have been. Back it up. Wop, wop. Okay, too soon. Wop. Well, and now you guys, you guys should be in, coming in right now. Yeah, there we go. Wop, wop, wop. Okay, you guys, too soon. Making little adjustments. Wop, wop, wop up. Love it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, this cockpit's cool, isn't it? I want, I want to do some shots like in between the motion where I zoom in on the individual pieces and we look at, because look at the level of detail that I put into this bad boy. And they print. I mean, uh, you can see it right here. It, it, all that detail actually works. Um, I thought I was pushing it too small with the gears. And that, that's kind of been like my, my motive. You'll see that there are details that won't print. Like the little knobbles on this thing. You, you don't see. Let me see. Eh, kind of, but not really. Um, you would need to resin print these to see some of the details and the knobbles on that. Yeah, they're there, kind of. But that's the idea. I was like, you know, I'm not going to hold back on the details. Uh, the side here. Look at look at the nubules that are in here. Do those show up in the print 3D print? Not really. Just looks like a mess. You know, FFF layer lines just kind of turn it into noise. But uh, plus, I've I, I love I've loved rivets. I figured out how to do rivets in Blender really easily. So that's been great. Uh, cockpit or bridge? I would call this a cockpit. I think a bridge. Um, is for more than one person, but I don't know. Chickenburger says, I want to try out 3D printing as a possible career path, but I'm not sure if it can be one or not. Need to do more research. Can 3D printing be a uh, career path? Yes, but no. Um, I should do a video on this. I really should. I'm going to grab these next ones. These guys are going to be... Uh, next one that we're working on but meanwhile 
So bring them in here. Um, okay, 3D printing as a career path is a viable option. It's, it's a bit like saying, can, um, I'm trying to think of the analogy here, but can, um, oh, how am I, how do I want to say this? Can woodworking be a viable career path? Well, yes. Yeah, best answer. Come, listen, I'm not writing a script here. I'm going off the cuff, okay? Uh, and I don't get five edits to get this right. Can 3D printing be a viable option? Yes. Can woodworking be a viable career path? Well, yes, there are people who make money doing woodworking. But... It's not just woodworking that they're doing. They're doing woodworking um, as a means to do something else. Did you get that? So if, if you're like, oh, I'm just going to 3D print toys and tchotchkes and make money doing that, you're probably not. Okay? I hate to be the one to break it to you. Whop. Uh, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you're not going to be making money 3D printing uh, Baby Yoda heads or Baby Yodas, okay? But that doesn't mean that 3D printing isn't a viable option. But you just have to apply it to something. And I've said this, uh, I've said this before in other videos, that if you want to be in business, if you want to make money, all you have to do is make something that people want and sell it to them. Um, and 3D printing as a tool for that is remarkable uh, and, and unmatched as far as its ability to you know, provide that for people. Uh, entrepreneurs who are, who want something to, to make their ideas a reality, find in 3D printing a unmatched tool. But that means, you know, so is 3D printing a viable career option? No. Is 3D printing a part of a viable career option? Yes. Uh, is woodworking a viable career option? No. Um, you know, I, I know a guy who he, he bought when he was like 24, he bought a uh, industrial welder or inherited an industrial welder. I think it was broken and he had to fix it up. He fixed it up and this man has been making a career of welding for his entire life. And I mean, this man has bought a nice house off the welding, but he has had to find the jobs that people need doing. 3D printing, I don't think is going to be like that because the tools and the barriers for entry are a lot uh, more accessible. But 3D modeling, not something that people do. And, and you know, yeah, okay, so let's go on. I, I use 3D printing in my work, making stage props again. Is that 3D printing or is that stagecraft? But 3D printing is definitely a part of that. Uh, sometimes I print for others as a side hustle, but mainly it's for making D&D terrain and magic bits. Now, I will say the local theater company that I, I went and checked out, they got some 3D printers and they started using 3D printers for making props for their show. And then they would sell the props. And I thought, you know, all you'd have to do, which they weren't doing, but what they could have done is they could have um, made props and sold them and then made more props for the next show. So you could walk out with a piece of the show um, if, they, if they wanted to do that every show. They were doing Hunchback of Notre Dame and they made a 3D printed, that little amulet that he did. And I was like, just make a new one for every show. You know, it's so quick and easy to do. Um, 
And again, it's not, you know, is that little tchotchke valuable? No, but it's valuable because it was a part of the show. And since there's only one of them per show, uh, you know, having that one handed to a member of the audience, that would be huge. That would be amazing. Uh, there are people that have made a career, including 3D printing, uh, like print shops that do printing for others. There's also a company that makes mods for Nerf guns and sells stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, out of darts. If you guys don't know them, you guys should know that they're awesome. Love the professor's answer. I always remember him saying a 3D printer isn't an electronic Christmas. Yeah, it's... I, I always want to tell people it's put, people think it's push button get Christmas. And it is, but it isn't. <laughs> it isn't instant money machine. It's a tool to use to augment what else you're doing. And I'm stealing that idea. Uh, make your peace with it. It's happening. <laughs> Please, thank you. I have more ideas than I can implement. Please steal them. Okay, let's see how the animation's going. Here we go. Ooh, boy, I pushed those a little bit fast. I don't hate that, though. Yeah, let's go back and see if that's pushing it too fast. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Wop, wop, wop. Okay, that should have been faster. Okay, fine, you whiner. Uh, Whiny McWhines a lot. Oh, you forgot me. You didn't put me in your animation. I'm going to come in late. You forgot to select me. I'm going to be all off. Whiny. There we go. Happy. All right. <laughs> now, I haven't even done the camera yet. The camera is the next one. Okay, here we go. What up? Is that too loud for you guys? Okay, I need to do something else here. I love it. I love it. But I need to work on that a little bit. Um, that said, knowing how to 3D print and knowing how to 3D print well is a valuable skill to have, just like woodworking is, and will make you a more valuable um, employee for somebody. Uh, somebody's going to need a 3D printing guy, and you have the opportunity to be it. So, be it. All right, I'm just doing this so I can line these up. I wanted both of these. You, and you, and you. See how that goes. Whop, whop, whop. No, you're too late. You're too late. Come in earlier. Earlier. Okay, I'm gonna select this bad boy. Really? Really? Come on. Really? Let's see what we got. Oh, am I doing my playback right? Don't play every frame. Sync to audio. Okay, let's see. Oh, I want this to be wop, 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 right? That's what the music's doing, right? Wop, 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 wop. Okay, good. Yep, 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 yep. We're going to do that. Sorry guys, I do enjoy this though. It's 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 so much fun to just fiddle with these things. Um, yeah, well, woodworking was just the first thing that came to mind. There are certain jobs where having the tools and having the skills is all that you need. If you are an auto mechanic, if fixing cars is your thing, you open up an auto mechanic shop and the people will come. That's just the way that works. Um, because it's it's a high enough skill like I, I feel like there's a there's a graph of of 
barrier to entry and and uh, uh you know how much people are willing to pay for it and though th there's a direct relation between those things uh my first attempt oh, sorry, Al alxon says very cool project my first attempt at animation was a 3d movie maker by microsoft with kids for windows <laughs> it was simplistic program for kids but it lets you control the prop frame by frame i mean it's not a competition but I started with the Commodore 64. Do you remember the animation maker in that? Well, you probably don't. You're probably not old enough to. Ooh. It was super primitive. All right. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Okay, so this first one, it's here. You're getting moved over. Ooh, okay, I'm moving them both over. I want you to hit just a little bit. Just, we're just pushing and pulling motion here. It's kind of amazing. Doo -doo. Okay, next one needs to hit like right now. Okay, let's see how that works. All right. All right, let's see how this looks. I feel like that one came in too early. Did that one come in too early? Came in too early. And I feel like that one came in too late. <sighs> it's not quite hitting and I'm gonna have to... Hey, Volt, how you doing, my man? Uh, by the way, good, good job. If you guys didn't see on, on Volt the Robot's channel, they made a telepresence uh, Muppet for the Craftsman. Okay, so... Uh, can't get the auto track visible on the timeline no no you can't and even if you could all you would see would be the hits and and not the notes um you, i mean you kind of can't so let me let me just say there's there is the soundtrack visible on the timeline i animated this based on my own you know i moved the, the empty around while the soundtrack was going so i kind of have created it on the timeline but this is, uh, well, it's kind of useful. Let's see if I can make it useful. Um, but I have to keep this bad boy selected. Um, I don't know. I suppose I could do this, create a new window here. Blender is super uh, versatile. This is about the best I could do. Uh, but so, Volt, um, I want to talk about your your um telepresence robot for the craftsman so cool but i would have okay i don't know how the craftsman himself first of all was he was he secretly at the event like if i had been there could i have could i have actually seen the man even though i wouldn't have known i was looking at him or was he still at home in his in his wherever the heck his home is i'm i'm very curious about that but is this for the Kickstarter video? Ah, this is this is for promoting the video. Um, okay, so talking about that telepresence robot, you know, let me let me see if I can find that video real fast, and we will watch it together. If you guys haven't seen this video, you should. Um, do, 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 do. here we go. Okay, we're gonna. Ella, are you enjoying the microfilm? Yeah. Maybe you got any, uh, so, 
So he was at home. Okay, that's good to know. So he's made servos in here and so that the, the, the puppet will move. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, it, was, it was clearly a little rough, but here's my criticism uh, of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute it. At the, uh, mind you, I, I'm sure you guys would rather listen to the craftsman's voice than my voice, because his, his voice is just silky smooth. But um, I love this idea. I think that this is brilliant. But if I were to do it, I would not... Okay, so part of the problem with the craftsman is that he uses oh boy I'm, I'm trying to say this in turn you know what there's only 10 of us we can talk clearly um he's a puppet his character is a puppet the way that he interacts with the audience is a puppet but here he's a robot and it like crosses that line between e either he needs to be perfect and look perfectly like the craftsman or here's what i would have done i would have made him look like a robot i would have made this look like a uh a craftsman robot and done him just with a hard shell outside um made it clear that it was not the craftsman kind of play with the idea of if i were doing a telepresence robot and it had my face and we put my face out there it would not look like my face the problem with him being a robot or with him being a puppet is that it can look exactly like him and be perfect but it shouldn't you should i i would have thought for this project lean into him being a robot a little bit and make something that doesn't look exactly like the craftsman so that when it's not perfect you go oh well i mean it's not the craftsman it's a it's a telepresence robot for the craftsman which i think is a fun idea because we're taking uh the idea of the motion or the the idea of the telepresence robot and the idea of the puppet and just pushing it down just a little bit um plus that would have given the opportunity to put leds in his eyes or something i don't know but you'd have to talk to him about that see how he thinks about this um he will be mobile did i see the other video um i don't know i haven't seen the other video let's pull up your channel and see what the other video is Oh, no, nope, haven't seen that one. And it's it was a super cool project. Uh, I will watch that one afterwards. You guys should watch that one. You guys should subscribe. I'm not, am I not? Sub <clears throat> I was totally subscribed and, and totally uh, rung the bell on your channel. Uh, <laughs> talk blast it. All right. Almost like a Terminator. Almost, almost like a Terminator. I would think more like... Um, yeah, everybody subscribe to Volt to apologize for me not being subscribed to Volt. Almost like a Terminator, but not like a Terminator. I would think more like the uh, the robots on um, AI, that movie. That was a weird movie, but yes. But almost like the Terminator, but better. <laughs> Hey, I was supposed to have you still selected. Oops. Wanted to have you guys selected. And select not. <laughs> Being a pain in my neck. All right, there we go. Then also select the soundtrack so I can see it. And so we can sync the motion to the soundtrack. Oh, oh, whoops. I'm at, looking at the wrong spot. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Charon, did you have the idea of putting the waveform in here? Because that was a good idea. That was a great idea. All right, let's... Um, come on back here.
and select uh, 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 no, both both of these and that. All right. All right, something's happening in the chat, but I am focused on my animation right now. So let's. What did I do? Might be fun to have them out of sync. Oh, come on. I don't have the right thing selected, so it's messing with me. One thing about Blender, in order to select things in the window, in order to select multiple things in the window, you hold the shift key. In order to select multiple things in the outliner view, you hold the control key. Ah, Blender, come on, I want to love you. All right, uh, watch how the kids interact we want it to go as real as possible because if he wants to attend vidcon and comic-con folks will recognize him well i still think they could recognize him if you made him instead of like use a fabric that isn't his normal fabric make a make a puppet out of muslin or something like a proto brass man it was fantastic and and i really um, excited for you that you got to work with that man. I am kind of envious of you for that because I I just love his vibe. I love what he does. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you both. I, I'm looking forward to the Kickstarter too. Um, ooh. That is off. There we go. All right, let's watch it one more time. It looks even more off now. Okay, I gotta back it up. Yeah, that's hitting too soon. And that's not hitting soon enough. Or no, that's hitting too soon as well. You know what? No, no. Those guys are coming in way, way, way too early. All right. I uh, can hardly put into words how amazing that all was. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Uh, Yeah, the one with the red LED leans on that. What's that? Incendio? Or craftsman. I mean, not not like not like menacing Borg, but you know, a friendly Borg with a with a chocolatey smooth voice. <sighs> yeah, I want to hit that one just a little bit sooner. Where's my soundtrack at? Okay, do I gotta hit WAP? WAP. WAP. And then you hit here. Boop. This one goes. Okay, let's see if I got that right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do this motion in my in my tracking. That's close. I'm gonna go with it for now.
Uh, can I set a piece to spin or rotate while it's moving in the animation, or do I have to do that manually? I mean, yes, I can do that. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yes, I absolutely can do that. And in fact, I did that on a previous animation. Um, watch this. That is actually something that's done in this, the, the graph editor. So I'm going to do, uh, just for fun, let's just add a... Uh, let's, add, let's do this with a sphere. No, do this with a cylinder. And we're going we're gonna to go back to the beginning of the, the thing. And we're going to move the cylinder over here. Get it up by 10 times. Oh, for pity's sake. I forgot to shrink my models down. Blender likes to work in meters, and so all of its animation and shading works best in meters. I may have to start this whole thing over again. That's all right. I've had a good time. Um, AFK for a bit. We'll catch you later, Volt. Okay, so watch this. I take this piece right here, and I uh, set a rotation keyframe on it, and I... Then go forward a little bit, maybe 50 frames, and rotate it uh, 180 degrees. And then set a keyframe on its rotation. And you can see here the rotation went from that to zero, or from zero to 180 degrees, if we see it, it rotates, but it only rotates that far. However, open this up, grab the uh, with X rotation. I can tell because it's red, and that's red. And open up the side panel here at there are modifiers and one of those modifiers these modifiers are so cool um did you see in the last animation uh well i'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second cycles okay you turn on cycles and it does this kind of sawtooth rotate animation which works okay for this because 180 looks like um 360 but what I can do is, before the modifier, uh, we'll say after the modifier, repeat the motion with offset, and it'll do a proper rotation. Uh, now it's properly rotating 360, and it'll keep doing that regardless of what else I do. Uh, and before that, I could say no cycles, don't rotate before that point. So I can, I can cut it off when it happens and when it doesn't happen. Um, and I can have this happen at any time. So I actually use this in the UFO animation to get those UFOs to just spin and spin and spin. I did this, and, but then I paired them to an empty, but I could do it with this guy here where I just, in fact, let's just record some motion with him. Um, Okay, and we'll stop there. Now, if I go back to the beginning, does it does his rotation keep going after that point? But yeah, he his rotation is independent and moves on its own. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's a neat thing that Blender could do. It could do procedural uh, rotations like that. Uh, for the instance, the connectors as they connect, uh, yeah, no, Blender is super cool. The, uh, another thing that Blender does that's really cool, and I learned this one. Why am I out of focus? Hello? Focus! Okay, we're good. Um, I learned this one from Ian Huber. If you, if you don't see, watch his lazy Blender tutorials, uh, you should. They're hilarious. But you can take an object and just kind of give it a wiggle. Uh, there's a, so here, we'll just take a cube here, scale that up by 10. Um, oh, am I still recording? Whoops. Well, that's, that gave me some free keyframe animations. Let's take the X location, add a modifier, add some noise to it. Okay. Up the scale of it. Hmm. Now you can kind of see it's doing it. Maybe I gotta up the scale a lot more. Oh, no, no, no. Scale's the wrong one. Let's up the strength of it. There we go. And you can see now this line here has a wiggle. Wiggity, wiggity. 
and it's moving all on its own. Oh, I see. There we go. And you can go, well, that's too much power. Let's, let's wiggle it a little bit less. Um, and you could do this to any of it. You could take its rotation. You could take anything and just wiggle it so that you don't actually have to animate that. And I used that on the most recent uh, video, which nobody is watching. And that's fine. But, okay. So this is not it. Yeah, I got the timing to the music there. But then here at the end, when he blasts off, and then right here, I started doing that animation wiggle so it looked like it was flying. Uh, and I didn't have to animate any of that. It just did it for free. It was wonderful. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to have to keep working on this. This has been a lot of fun. I, th that part right there isn't quite hitting. I need to I need to work on this part right here. Yeah, I need to work on that a little bit. Maybe maybe I'll take my soundtrack again and have it. Bop, 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 bop. Maybe I'll do that. Take my soundtrack and I'll delete the keyframes. And I'll just animate the part that I need. All right, so now we've got that animated. And now I can see what's going on. Oh, I, I, I thank you very, you know, I very much enjoy it. And, you know, this has been a lot of fun. Okay, so that's where that guy's got a hit. Up. And got my soundtrack object. It needs to hit up here. So you guys now need to hit here. And grab my soundtrack, and it needs to hit here. So you guys need to hit here. And grab my soundtrack, and the next hit here. You guys need to hit here. And what's my soundtrack saying? Is that too much? I don't know, let me see. Hmm, maybe I should do every other one. Maybe I should only hit on highs. Yeah, maybe I should only hit on the low notes, so. Slow it down. You guys, you guys. Hit here. Hit my soundtrack. Low note here. That's you guys, right? And then soundtrack up, down. That's you guys here. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. Oh, I did that wrong. There we go. Nope, that's not working at all. <laughs> Sometimes you do a thing and it just doesn't work and that didn't work at all. Oh, well. Do I ever hate the music that I've chosen? You know, the thing about, if, if I had made the music, I think I would probably hate it more because um, I, I criticize my own work so much. But Kevin McLeod's music is just, all of it is just so much fun just so delightful um that brings up the question could i make my own music yeah if i put enough time and effort into it i am musical um i sing in a church choir but um okay womp 
But um, that said, I just don't want to. I would rather be making cool 3D models and doing 3D printing. So, Blaka Nokia, Noka, Blaka Noka, how you doing, man? I say, man, I don't know. I really don't know what you, what your preference is, but. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. All right, let's grab the soundtrack and this one hits. Womp, womp, womp. Womp. Yeah, it's not the same time. Womp, womp, womp. Womp. I kind of like having the visualization on here so I can see it. Womp, womp, womp. That seems weird. Womp, 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 womp. Does that work? Okay, I need, I need something to hit here. Womp, womp, womp. That's going to be the guns in the front, I think. Ooh, I should, I should read over those so that they hit in the right spot. Yeah. Doing some little keyframing. and then you're going to go oh okay that's hopefully there yeah wait I've got some errant keyframes that I do not want alright so I'm going to zoom way in on this bad boy yeah do you see that little diggy right there goodbye diggy Oh, I think the diggy is what I wanted, actually. Goodbye, not diggy. Nope. I wanted you... ...to hit... ...here. Wait a second. What is... What? what? Okay, you guys aren't lined up. Is that... No? I am confused. I have confused myself. You're supposed to be right there. Okay, I need this to be at the same time as that one hits. Sorry guys, I'm 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 getting into the weeds here. But you know. That's what happens. Sometimes things just need a little focus. Kevin McLeod, it's, so it's, it's not McLeod O-U-D, it's McLeod E-O-D, uh, because it's Scottish and the rules for I before E are backwards, which blows my mind and I love it. Uh, do you need to pay for his music or is it free to use on YouTube? It's free to use on YouTube, it's free to use everywhere, uh, but I have paid for some of his music. Mostly just because I'm grateful that it's out there, but uh, I used to use a little snippet from one of his songs called uh, Marty's Got a Plan uh, as my uh, do, 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 That was at the beginning of my, my 
um, videos, and I paid for that one. Um, didn't need to, but, you know, he's a cool dude. All right, let's see how this animation works. Let's watch the animation a little bit. Here we go. Wop, wop, wop. What up? Eh, I could work on it some more, but we're gonna work on it later. So this is the basic the basic premise. Um Assembly, let's see, what is this? Carrier. You know, these videos I've enjoyed doing them. I'm doing this one because it's the last one of the set, but uh I don't think I'm gonna keep doing them. They're, they're, we're seeing diminishing returns on them. So I'm probably going to stop after this one, but you know, I've enjoyed it. Uh, one thing that I want to do with this animation is I want to add particles coming down to give it the effect of, uh, this piece is actually moving up and these parts are coming in and pop, 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 and landing on them. We'll see if that's a good idea. But. Oh, we'll see. And like during that pause right there where nothing's happening. Like I want to zoom in with the camera and take a close look at the, the details and greebles on these pieces right here and show off, you know, the work that I've done on them. Um, you know, I don't even have any lights or stuff like that. So, so during these pauses between animation, the camera's gonna be moving in and being like, ooh, look at how cool this is looking, you know? Uh, so the camera work is gonna come after I finish doing all of this, but then we got another pause in animation here and we can go, Ooh, look at the prettiness of the panels and stuff like that. <laughs> um, what's funny is since I've started doing more greedily, more detailed pieces, uh, what software is this? We're using Blender. This is Blender and I do all of my 3D modeling. I modeled these in Blender and now I'm animating them in Blender because Blender is an animation program, is what it does. Um, so yeah. Alrighty. So did I answer that before it showed up on screen? Incendium asked, what software is this? And I said, Ace Blender. That turret does look good. So fun, fun fact about the turret. Um, somebody on my Discord was like, you know, it would be real neat if you like, wait, oh, this isn't the, this isn't the up-to-date turret. Oh, this is the old version of the turret. That's okay. I use this one for renders. Nobody will be able to see. There's a hidden face on this side. So it looks a little bit like an Optimus Prime. Uh, so if you if you see the final version, it's got like eyes and a Optimus Prime grill on front and like angry eyebrows. And it looks whoop. well, that was silly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the final version will have so it could double as a head uh, if you wanted to do that. Uh, Oh, cool, I didn't know you could animate. You didn't know I could animate in Blender. No, Blender is actually, so Blender's whole point is an animation program. Uh, the fact that it also does um, 3D modeling is entirely like side to the idea of what Blender does. Blender, uh, so, so like, I'm, I'm gonna use the draw function again here. If if this is the total like space of things that Blender does, okay, the the part that I use is like right here. <laughs> but I had a buddy of mine who you know he did Blender for um, gifs and animation and doing those satisfying animations and stuff like that, and and he used just basic cues, but then he used the shaders and he used animation tricks and so he used blender over here i don't know maybe there's a little bit of overlap between what we do but for the most part he's using this skill set and i'm using this skill set um 
And then if you go and watch Ian Hubert, like his skill set sits right here. You know, he does a little bit of that, a little bit of that, but then he also does stuff that I've never done. And I love this about Blender. I love that it is so vast. Um, actually, I would say Ian Hubert probably does more like this space right here because he also gets into motion capture and tracking and camera tracking and, and rigging and things. I do rigging and stuff like that. But the point is, we all use this program um, in different ways and it continues to, to satisfy our needs. Um, but there's so much more in it. And, and like, yeah, if you want to learn how to you do the animation, well, you just jump in and do the animation. But the key, the, 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 the hotkeys that you've learned are still the same in those new spaces. So it's super cool. Well, guys, it's 9.30 here. Uh, I've been streaming for an hour and a half. I appreciate your time. This video will go up uh, before the end of the week. There was something else that I wanted. Um, did I say this already? I might have said this already. If I didn't say this already, um, I'm going to really quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys aware I'm on Patreon? You, you probably are. Heretofore, Patreon has not been something that I've been very uh, diligent in making valuable. I've tried, and it just hasn't gone great. Um, I'm going to change that. After the Kickstarter, I'm going to continue to develop print -a block on Patreon. And so if you're a patron, and I'm going to be working on it a little bit today or tomorrow, uh, updating the tiers and things like that and stuff like that, but it will launch officially after the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter launches in one week, so I hope that I will meet you guys here in one week where we will officially kick off the Kickstarter and get going on that. But um, one week from now, we're starting the Kickstarter. After that, I'm going to try out. I'm going to try it. This is an experiment. If I can take Patreon, I currently have like 86 Patreons. If I can work on that for a couple of months and double the number of Patreons that I have, I'll keep working on it. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'll try something else. But I want to continue developing um, printer blocks that you guys saw at the beginning of this that I have a lot of ideas for what's coming next. I, I feel like the well of printer block has hardly been tapped. And so I'm going to continue to work on it. Um, some of it is going to be going through and re -greebling. Uh So for those of you who didn't see it at the beginning, let's pull it back up again. Uh, this is a review. And I mean, you guys could watch the replay, but you're here. Um, but you remember when I started printer block, I had this, uh, the beast. We did the beast. I said, we're going to do Skyforce. We did Skyforce. We're doing Skyforce. Um, I said, we're going to continue to extend the base blocks. We're extending the base blocks just yesterday. I uploaded the articulated blocks that were developed during the Beast um, on Prusa printers. Also, if you get them on 3DP Professor, you get the latest ones, so no problem. Electro blocks was something that I said that I wanted to do, and I'm doing. Uh, I think development on that could continue. I said I wanted to do architectural builds. Um, I think we could still do that. Um, I also want to go back and revisit the mechs. I want to make them more greebly, but I also feel like, I mean, like, look at how many mechs that we could jump in and do. What if also that spider mech that I made at the beginning? I'm not super impressed with it. I think I could do better. I think we could do more and better spider mechs. These are just some ideas I stole online. Um, I want to go back and revisit the beast. I think we haven't even begun to tap the the articulation available in the world of animals. I mean, the elephant trunk, the 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 uh, limbs of a of a squid or something like that. Uh, an enterprise like ship. Yeah, I well, I I released that. I I I did do that. Um, on Twitter, we'll take a look at that in a minute. I want to do more wheeled vehicles. I call the road rage. There's actually a set out there that you can already download. But I want to do more of that. I introduced a a standing robot mech, but somebody beat me to it and did a better one. 
what if I what if I tap, you know, Gundam and things like that and create more of these sort of mechs? I think that would be cool. I think that would be fun. So, whoops, uh, printer block is not done. Uh, there's still a lot more we could do with printer block. There's still a lot more, um, and and I think that it's something that people want. Hopefully, so you know that means that that. Um, oh, I need to update the Kickstarter. We're we're at T minus six days. Um, yeah, I think that it's something that people want, and so I'm going to deliver it to them on on Patreon. Uh, on Patreon, there's going to be a monthly Kickstarter released after the Kickstarter. So, yeah. Uh, and Ken, this is for you. Um. <laughs> that's the UFO. That's the rocket. These are all parts that have already been made that you guys will get at the end. Uh, I also want to play with doing a Millennium Falcon-like ship. Just see what's possible, you know? <laughs> yeah, we're already there, guys. We're already there. Um, but that's Power Printer Block. I don't have to I don't have to make a set that looks like this. I can make sets that look like this. Sorry, I got my green screen backwards. I can make sets that give you the parts that allow you to make something that looks like this. Um, it's a little bit stubby, <laughs> but it works. I think, um, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me a little bit this morning. I hope that you have an awesome morning. I hope that you make something uh, cool today. Uh, it's what well, it's Wednesday, so let's let's make this wonderful Wednesday, right? Stay positive. Don't let negative people get into your head. Um, you are capable of doing cool things. I know you are. And uh, hey. When you do make it, jump on my Discord and drop a picture of it in what you make. And it doesn't have to be 3D printing. It could be, you know, a good meal that you made. Anything, I'd, I'd love to see it on my Discord. Um, and uh, love to see you there. But do something cool today. Even if, it's just, even if it's just doing a good job at work. Whatever you do, do it 100%. And thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next week, same time. We'll kick off the Kickstarter next Wednesday. So we'll see you then, guys. Bye.